Hey what's up guys Ali here for 5M Tech if you're looking for a compact Samsung flagship there are a couple of options the first is the latest model the Samsung Galaxy S24 but then there's the Galaxy S23 from last year which is a lot less expensive are the S24's advantages of the S23 worth the spending extra cash on let's put the two phone head to head and find out Each year Samsung makes rather subtle change to its vanilla S series phones but there are quite a few differences to keep in mind when it comes to looks the S23 and the S24 are almost identical. The new model has a flat frame though rather than a rounded one and that frame is made of a supposedly tougher sort of aluminum. The S24 also has a slightly larger screen, it's a 6.2 inch OLED with a 1080p resolution and A120Hz refresh rate D. The S23's display on the other hand measures at 6.1 inch. The difference isn't anything to get too worked up over but the new model does come with thinner bezels. But the brightness has been upgraded a bit too. With the brightness boost in auto mode, we measured a maximum of around 1400 nits on the new model versus 1200 nits on the previous one. Otherwise, both displays have the same great quality. You get the same good sharpness and contrast and HDR10 plus video support on either phone. There's a noticeable change in the speaker setup. This year the S24 is louder than the previous model but the S23 has a fuller sound because of its better bass. You get the same software experience on both phones, Samsung's latest One UI 6. This year's S series phones launched with Samsung's new AI software features including live translation circle to search and advanced photo editing. Say, but these features have also rolled out to the S23 via software update. Speaking of updates, the S24 does have longer software support. It's 7 years years compared to 4 years of OS updates and 5 years of security patches on the S23. And one of those years has already passed. Of course being the newer phone the S24 has the more advanced chipset depending on the market. The phone comes with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 or an Exynos 2400. The Galaxy S23 on the other hand always comes with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Last year's flagship silicon no matter which variant of the S24 you are using there is a nice bump in performance over the previous model. Benchmark scores are significantly higher. The difference isn't night and day though the S23 definitely can hold its own as well. But there is a larger battery capacity on the new model 4000mAh versus 3900 mAh. H. The S24 earns a higher active use score thanks to its longer video playback time. The S23 has better battery life when it comes to calls though charging speed is the same between the two phones but there's support for 25 watt charging and either Galaxy can charge to full in about an hour and 15 minutes. On to the cameras which are identical on either phone there's a 50 megapixel main camera a 10 megapixel 3 times zoom and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 12 megapixel selfie camera while the quality is very similar there are differences in processing the galaxy s23 tends to use more vibrant colors and a bit of added sharpening the galaxy s24 on the other hand goes for a more natural and warmer warmer look at night the galaxy s23 again uses more sharpening sometimes even going overboard on the other hand it shadows hold more detailed the s24 takes a more natural yet 
sometimes softer looking approach, a similar trend can be observed in the video processing. Here's a look at selfies taken with either phone and selfie videos can be recorded in 4000. So there you have it this year's compact Samsung flagship versus last year's years with the S24 you get a slightly larger and brighter display louder speakers and a more powerful chipset. The battery life is better when playing back videos. The camera processing has a more natural look and you get longer software support. The S23 on the other hand has nicer sounding speakers, its battery life is better for calls. The camera processing is sharper and more vibrant and the phone is up to 200 bucks less expensive than the S24. Overall, the S24 may be the more future-proof option with its better chipset and software support. The advantages it brings over the S23 don't seem to justify the price difference at the moment. The S23 just offers better bang for your buck. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.